Hi Virgo, I hope you're all well. In today's reading, we'll be looking at whoever you're thinking about here February 2022. So we will be shuffling on camera today. If you do want to skip through this process, you may. And I will push the mic away so I don't hurt your ears. bottom deck energy. <laughs> it could be an air sign you were dealing with, Virgo. But let's get two cards representing this person's energy. Oh yeah, they're... Wow. This person feels rejected betrayed they're very stressed out Ugh, wow this is the most difficult energy out of all the signs for someone's overall energy this person's going through something extreme ten of swords bottom deck energy some of you there was separation breakup between the both of you and if there is distance virgo this person does is feeling very low like nothing makes them happy it's a, a little bit of a depressive energy is what I'm seeing. Some of you, this could have been a third party. Regardless of who rejected who, um, there is a lot of pain here in this person's energy. It's a very sad. Why three of swords here? Four of cups, yeah. This person is they are healing with temperance. They're working on regaining some sort of balance here emotionally. So that is nice to see. But they, um, actually I want to get, how will this person be viewing Virgo February? Yeah, you're not communicating. There's no communication here. You're also healing after this separation and they feel that you've let go. You're releasing this. It was too stressful. It felt like an uphill climb and you're exhausted. It's almost someone seeing you as doing better now that they're out of your life, as weird as that sounds. This person's extremely uh, curious about you. They wonder about you, they think about you, they dream about you is what I'm getting. Four of Cups is not always a rejection card. Depending on what it's paired next to, it can be fantasy as well, right? So if they were in another situation, it seems that wherever they're at right now, Virgo, they're not satisfied is what I'm getting. How will this person be feeling about Virgo? Yeah, this was a third party, 333, three, three, or there was interference from other people. They're wanting to be on good terms with you, friendly terms, right? So they still want the friendship, but when it comes to long-term or planning for the future, um, there's no action coming from this person. They're losing hope, but they still want to collaborate with you on some level. They still feel a friendship with you. They want to support you. Whether that's, you know, if, you're, if there's no contact, then it can be from afar. Why is three of wands in reverse? Yeah, some of you, they were dealing with the Queen of Wands in reverse energy. Um, those of you, they were committed, an ex-girlfriend, whatever their situation was. Queen of Wands in reverse. Some of them wanted to keep you as a side piece while they worked on things with their other person, and you're not having it. But I don't see them initiating anything it's sort of yeah I'm, I'm still getting that vibe that they may be admiring you from afar or just wondering about you what is this person's intentions towards virgo there's no stability queen of pentacles in reverse seven of wands they're very guarded and the situation may be at a standstill because of this person's stubbornness 
It's a bit of a competitive energy here as well, but I'm getting, yeah, this person's all about themselves and winning. What action will this person take towards Virgo, February? They're not single is what the cards are indicating. Nine of Pentacles in reverse, Hierophant upright. This person seems to be in a solid established marriage commitment. I'm seeing two queens here, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. But those of you, this person's completely single. Um, their intentions is that they want to commit to you. What does this person want from Virgo, February? They like the attention you give them, but this person doesn't seem to be emotionally 100% there, if that makes sense. It's a bit of a clocked out energy, but they enjoy it. your company, the attention you gave them, your support. Knight of Pentacles for what we want from someone is friendship. So this may be someone that was trying to friend zone you or sort of friends with benefits. How, let's see how you will be feeling. How will Virgo feel about this person? Yeah, I felt this. Six of Swords in reverse, Five of Cups upright. You're having a hard time releasing this. Either this person, Virgo, or how they made you feel. There's sadness here. And you weren't, you're mentally stuck on what happened here. Five of Cups, there's disappointment. Why Five of Cups here for Virgo's feelings? Queen of Cups in reverse. Yeah, some of you, this person drained you. It was emotionally very draining for you. You feel depleted. Yeah, it's almost holding on to some feeling. How this person made you feel. Some of you, when you were getting to know them, you felt on top of the world. The sun. You felt happy. I'm getting two scenarios here, uh, Virgo. Some of you, um, this person's completely single. There's strong potential for you to build, right? Knight of Pentacles is dragging its feet. It's slow moving, but there's potential. And this person's actions were that they don't want to be single, right? So there's strong potential for commitment here. But a lot of you, I'm getting this person wasn't single to begin with, or they were playing the field, something along those lines. A little bit of that, I want to have my cake and eat it too. I don't like the Ace of Cups in reverse for what they want, right? This person's depleted. The Ace of Cups in reverse is coming through because this person doesn't have anything to give to you in terms of emotions. They're coming through as the Four of Cups. This person was sipping from your cup. It's almost this person needed you. You don't need them, Virgo. What is the potential outcome here between Virgo and this? No, 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 no. Feeling backstabbed, anxious, never knowing what this person is up to behind your back. If you were to come together with this person, I see deception here. I'm getting cheating within a home situation, some commitment. Four of Wands, Hierophant. Seven of Swords in the outcome is not a good energy. Yeah, I see you both still holding on to each other in the outcome. There is a strong soulmate uh, connection, but this person is not to be trusted. They will be sneaking back. Um, they're coming back towards you, Virgo. This is not over. Clarify Seven of Swords. Yeah, Ten of Cups, Two of Cups. Four of Wands. How does how will Virgo view this person on their mind? Yeah, Knight of Swords, Three of Cups. You'll be getting together for drinks, a date. I don't know. There will be communication coming in. But this person's in and out. If there's no third party, Virgo, this person's in and out behavior is causing you a lot of stress. Because you don't trust them. Four of Pentacles. It's a difficult one because you're having a hard time releasing them, but there's also trust issues.
Yeah, you're both sort of confused, Virgo. If there's no communication, you're not quite knowing where you stand with one another. Which is why Seven of Wands, right? You both may be waiting on the other um, to make a move. And as a result, nothing's moving forward. Let's get this deck and their intentions towards you. If they can give us further clarity. But whatever happened between the both of you, Virgo, know that they're as equally hurt as you are. Three of Swords, Four of Cups can be karma for some of you, right? If they hurt you. They're saying don't make things worse. Listen to what I have to say. Everything is not so black and white. Some of you may have gave them an ultimatum. You know, if they had, if they were at a crossroads, you either choose me or you're either all in or you're out. Something along those lines. But they feel like, they will, how you're viewing them as someone who's rushing in. Knight of Swords, Three of Cups. I can't give you what you want right now. Love yourself first. So this person can be teaching you um, self-love, how to love yourself first, right? But they're saying, I can't give you what you deserve, what you need from me right now. What is this person's intentions? I don't care what people say anymore. I'm ready to fight for our relationship. If you forgive me and allow me to enter your life, there's still hope for us. Seven of Swords, this person will be sneaking back here. Yeah, this person's having a hard time reading you and I think it's mutual. You're very mysterious. It's been hard to read you, but it's keeping me intrigued. I want to continue to learn more about you, which is why Page of Swords, right? Few of you, if it's a new person, this seems to be someone who's healing from a breakup. Three of Swords Temperance. They've come out of something. Someone else may have rejected them. And they're still carrying that hurt baggage. Ten of Swords, which is why they're coming through as emotionally unavailable. So if you do want to work on it, it doesn't mean that it can't get to stability, right? Especially if they're not involved. Because for what action they were taking is they were wanting to commit to the situation, right? This is someone who's not wanting to be single, given that they're not already committed. I want a few more. What is this person on Virgo's mind? Intentions towards Virgo, February 2022. See, Queen of Wands in reverse definitely can be a bitter ex-wife, ex-husband, ex-girlfriend, and it may be someone they have to collaborate with because of children. That's another scenario. I'm behaving strangely because I'm hiding something from you. I don't want you to find out. It's been difficult seeing a future together. I'm sorry I have to walk away. In their feelings, the reason they weren't taking action is I don't see a future together. But in the outcome, they were wanting to sneak back in. So you see that hot and cold energy that I was picking up on? What advice do you have for Virgo? in regards to the person on their mind, February 2022. Whoops. What advice do you have for Virgo? Okay, joy. So don't be sad, Virgo, is what your guides are telling you. Not all endings are sad. Stay hopeful because you will have your happy ending. Your manifestation is coming much sooner than you think. Ooh, I'm getting another scenario for some of you. It can be that case where you're moving on with someone else, right? You're in a relationship, you meet someone new, you're happy, you're doing well, and this person wants to come back around. I'm definitely seeing that scenario here as well. But regardless, they are saying whatever you're manifesting, it is coming. So keep your thoughts positive. We need to get out of our heads here. With the Nine of Swords, that's a lot of pain, anxiety, overthinking. Angel, wow, spiritual protection. Yeah, they're wanting you to have faith that love is coming. 
and whoever this love is maybe at a distance or there may be travel involved they're saying whoever you're attracting you're manifesting will not lead you astray like the past people you've been dealing with pay attention and observe what is happening within and around you your angels are sending you messages and signs you know one thing i've observed um virgo it took me a while to catch on but this card rarely comes through and i've been using these for a while now and they only come through in spreads where the sign i'm reading for is going through some difficult emotions so it is reassurance that you you know you're whatever you believe in god higher power they are looking over you your spirit guides and they are trying to send you messages even if you are seeing repeating numbers that can be their way of telling you that they are around you and if you are seeing repeating numbers at that given time make sure you're being mindful of what you're thinking about right so if you are thinking negatively when you're seeing these synchronicities then we need to switch that mindset that can be a reminder throughout the day um, from a higher power that look right reflect what are you thinking about is it negative self-talk is it self-sabotage because we need to replace that with positive affirmations really is what i'm getting yeah blocked and also they're saying don't repress with emotions and let your guard down if there's a trusted friend family member can be your journal whatever helps you release that pent-up frustration emotions release it don't keep it in we have blocked walkway not maintained in winter season something is blocking you from moving forward if you are honest with yourself about what it is you will have the power to change it there are always options so the first step is recognizing that there is a problem right and then you can begin um, your healing journey from there what advice do you have for virgo some of you it's looking to some hobby you may have i'm not sure some of you whatever you do if you like painting drawing even if you're not a painter or artist that would be beneficial for you to get your mind off of this situation with the devil in reverse a lot of you this could have been a third party or just some toxic um, connection that you're moving away from yeah but we have her gardening planting seeds in the seven of pentacles we have her painting the cup here so that is what they want you to do some of you can literally be gardening going outside right but they're wanting you to get out of your own head here but yes virgo that is what i have for you hopefully this gave you some clarity in regards to your situation take care of yourself and i will see you next week bye